We're going to jump back into our addition and subtraction practice. We have a new mini lesson today, and we're just going to be matching up our operations. It'll give us a chance to practice. So let's open it up and jump right in. We're going down to match up. Perfect. We're going to match each addition problem with its sum. Sum is the answer to an addition problem. Now, when you get something that has multiple choice options, it's helpful to solve at least part of your problem to see which choices might work best for you. For example, when I look at 56 plus 73, I can say, what is 6 plus 3? 6 plus 3 is 9. Do any of these end in a 9? Yeah, 129. And I'll double check. 5 plus 7 equals 12. 129. We've got it. Let's do one. 251 plus 384. The cool thing with mental math is that you don't have to do the big picture. You can still break it into smaller chunks. So what's one plus four? Five, perfect. This is my only one that ends in a five. This won't be true for absolutely every single mul uh, multiple choice problem, but a lot of the time, there will only be one or two choices that match it up. So remember that next time you get stumped. Let's double check our answer. Let's see, I have two plus three is only five, but if I look at its next door neighbors, eight plus five would have made me have to go to the next hundreds place. So eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, there's my three plus one more for a two plus three plus one is six. We've got it. 94 plus 57. Four plus seven. This one tricky. He's not a 10 friend, but he's close. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. We know that it wants to end in a one. Uh-oh. I have two that end in ones. I bet we could use our estimation powers to figure it out. What makes more sense? 1,011 or 151? 94 is close to 100. 57 is pretty close to 51. I'm going to bet that it's this one. Let's do a final check. We know that seven plus four is 11. So we put our one down and we carry a one. So now we have nine plus five plus one. Nine plus five is 14. Plus one more is 15. 150. One. You got it. Seven hundred fifty four plus two hundred fifty seven. Seven plus four, we just solved that. Eleven. Perfect. Is this our next eleven? Oh, potato salad. <laughs> there we go. Carry our one over. Five plus five is a 10, friend, plus one more is 11. So we carry our one again. And then seven plus two plus one creates a 10, friend. Seven, eight, nine, 10. So I see our 10, the one from our 11, and the one from our 11. 1,000. 11. You've got it. 
Here's our last one. I bet by just looking, you can guess these. They both end in a two. One is 112, one is 912. Can you use your estimating powers to figure out which one is which? One hundred twelve goes with eighty eight plus twenty four. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's our two. Carry our one. Eight plus two is ten, eleven, one hundred twelve. We can see that these numbers are pretty close to 400 and 500, which would get us close to 900. We can double check our answers though. Nine plus three is 12, good. So we put our two down and carry our one. Two plus eight is 10 plus our one. So we have put a one down and carry our one. And then four plus four equals eight plus our one, nine. We've got it. Not too hard at all. Now let's do the same thing, but subtracting. And this can get a little bit trickier if we're not using manipulatives or a chart or writing it down. So be, it's okay to Take your time and just be careful. We got this, okay? Three minus seven. Can we take seven away from three? We don't have enough. So we would need to borrow from our eight and take some away and turn our three into a 13. 13 minus 7. You can't do it in your head. Count on. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 6. Do any of our answers end in a 6? Good. 56. Let's double check our answer just in case. We took 1 away from our 8, making it a 7. 7 minus 2 is 5. You got it. Let's do 735 minus 281. First up, 5 minus 1. 4. Perfect. Do any of our options end in 4? There it is. Let's check our answer real quick. We can't take 8 out of 3, but we can take 8 out of 13. If you can't do it in your head, count on. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 5. Our next number is 5, too. Now we have 6 minus 2 because we borrowed from our 7. Six, take away two, four. You've got it. Next, 65 minus 38. We have a five minus eight. We can't subtract that. We'll need to borrow from our six. 15 minus eight. Count on or use a chart if you need to. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Good. 7. We have one number that ends in 7. Perfect. Should we double check? We took 1 away from our 6, making it a 5. And 5 minus 3 is 2. You've got it. Next up, 
584 minus 264. 4 minus 4 is 0. Oh, we've got two zeros here. Hmm. I see a 5 minus 2, which is 3, and an 8 minus 6, which is a 2. 320. Perfect. Two more problems and then we are done for the day. You got this. 96 minus 56. 6 minus 6 is 0. Perfect. We've got just one last zero option. And double check our answer. What is 9 minus 5? 4. Perfect. All right, here's our last one. Let's pop it in its blank, but we're still going to check it. 9 minus 1. 8. Perfect. I call that verified. Great work today. And thank you so much for working with me. I hope this was helpful.